welcome we will start with very basic question and then go in detail first question is what is the purpose of the disintegration test in pharmaceuticals answer is the disintegration test in pharmaceuticals assesses the time it takes for a solid dosage form example tablet or capsule to break down into smaller particles ensuring that the medication will be available for absorption in the body within a specified time frame here you can see the photograph of disintegration test apparatus this one is very frequently asked question question is explain the difference between disintegration and dissolution testing disintegration testing evaluates the time it takes for a dosage form to break down into smaller pieces ensuring it can be absorbed while dissolution testing assesses how a drug substance dissolves in a solution reflecting its release and availability for absorption in below pictorial you can see disintegration happens first then dissolution then absorption that is drug in the blood and the body can you describe the apparatus used in the disintegration test and how does it function the apparatus commonly used is the basket rack assembly or paddle apparatus in the basket rack assembly a set of six tubes hold individual dosage form vertically the apparatus functions by immersing the dosage form into a liquid medium simulating conditions in the gastrointestinal tract the movement of the assembly imparts mechanical stress facilitating disintegration and the time taken is recorded for assessment what are the key parameters or values as per usp chapter number 701 for disintegration test you can refer below table for key parameters like medium temperature rpm or frequency rate sharp travel distance beaker size beaker height number of open ended tubes and other key parameters how is the disintegration test performed and what are the key steps involved following are the five key steps involved in the disintegration test first set up the disintegration test apparatus second place the dosage form in the apparatus third immerse the dosage form in a specified liquid medium fourth record the time it takes for the dosage form to break down into smaller pieces and final step evaluate the results against predefined acceptance criteria which usp chapter talk about disintegration test and what is title of that chapter The disintegration test for tablets is described in United States Pharmacopeia that is USP under the chapter titled disintegration and USP chapter number is 701 What is disintegration time The disintegration time during disintegration test is the time it takes for a tablet or capsule to break apart into smaller particles or fragments Why we need to check disintegration time of tablet or capsule during manufacturing? This in-process quality control test verifies that the pharmaceutical product will disintegrate appropriately in the body promoting optimal drug release and absorption and thereby ensuring the product's efficacy and bioavailability. What is L1 and L2 stage disintegration test? In L1 stage we perform disintegration test with six tablets or capsules l2 stage test is done when tablet or capsule fails the disintegration acceptance criteria at l1 stage in l2 stage we check total 18 tablets or capsules including l1 stage sample acceptance criteria as per us chapter number 701 is if six tablets or capsules are tested all six of the tablets or capsules shall be get disintegrated if 18 tablets or capsules are tested the requirement is met if not fewer or lesser than 16 of the total of 18 tablets or capsules are disintegrated why we put disc over tablet or capsule during disintegration test its primary function is to prevent the tablet or capsule from floating or moving during disintegration test ensuring that the tablet or capsule is properly immersed in and exposed to the disintegration medium 
you can see the adjacent photograph of disk that we put over tablet or capsule during disintegration test which are the most commonly used disintegrating agents in the tablet formulation following are the five most commonly used disintegrating agents it includes microcrystalline cellulose cmc that is sodium carboxymethyl cellulose sodium starch glycolate and other two which granulation stage parameters affect on disintegration time granulation technique particle size distribution binder selection moisture content and process parameters like impeller speed granulation time are the parameters which has an impact on disintegration time you can refer below table for more details about the parameters that has an impact and how they impact on disintegration time which compression stage parameters affect on disintegration time compression force tablet hardness tablet thickness binder concentration granule particle size distribution has an impact on disintegration time of tablet you can refer below table for parameter and their impact on disintegration time at compression stage which media is commonly used for disintegration test water is the most commonly used as a media for disintegration testing the use of 0.1 molar hcl that is hydrochloric acid simulates the acidic environment of the stomach and this specific condition is often employed when testing certain types of dosage forms especially those that are designed to disintegrate or release their active ingredient under acidic conditions when we should perform tablet disintegration test during tablet compression stage following are the four frequencies at which we should perform tablet disintegration test first at the initial machine setting second during compression process at regular frequency as mentioned in the respective bmr example hourly or two hourly third at the end of compression process and fourth in case of major machine breakdown for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry you can visit playlist of farm grow youtube channel thanks for watching